I know it before you do. Cause you know what? It's gonna tap on me first. Huh? Hey, hey, Bishop, I wanna make a deal with you. I want you to switch on every one of them. Now my sin, I did not know I was in a predicament like that. I did not know I was messed up like that. I didn't know the devil was using me like that. I didn't know I was that lost. Good God Almighty, when you start turning, my God, there's so much in you. He brought me up out the muck and the mouth and set my feet on a solid rock and established my going and put a new song in my mouth. Come on, somebody. Glory to faith in God. I'm believing God for it. Just because you don't hear me say nothing about it, I believe in God. I'm believing God for this, 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 and all yours too. That's why you don't see me sound right, because I'm believing. I got to be about my father's business. When you believe in God for something, you got to be about his business. I ain't got time to sit around there and cry over it. I done gave it to him. He said, cast all your cares upon me, for I carry his foot. See, when you give a more to the Lord, It may not look like it's in manifestation. It's already fixed. It's already taken care of. I put it in this thing. I put this and that. This, that, that, and this. I put it all in this thing. Oh, glory to God. Somebody ought to be excited. You in church on a Friday night? I just can't stop. Praise in his name. He's so good to me. He's better than a pity pat. Come on and put a praise on it. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Ah, yeah, yeah. He's gonna rest because he's not in you. But don't think he's going that far. He ain't going no further than you are. Paul said when I would do good, he would. Talk about all this deliverance and he ain't around you. Oh Jesus. Yes, we're looking at you when you open your mouth. He is. Oh, Jesus. But you know it's when that unclean spirit is going on. You gotta recognize why that spirit is out. There was a word that caused that spirit to go out. And it's got to be a word to continue so that spirit don't come back. The devil don't stay out of you because you come to Christ. The devil won't stay out of you because you go to first battle. The devil ain't going to stay out of you because you go to the church of God and Christ. I can't get no help in there. It ain't going to stay out of you if you go to Luther. I can't get no help. He don't stay out because that. He stays out because of the word. You ain't got no word and you demons ain't going to stay out of you. Yeah, you ain't no match with him. He tried Jesus. Who is you? Oh, help me, Jesus. You can't live right without the word. You can't be partial. Amen. Uh-uh. You can't be partial. You can't be lukewarm. You can't have a form of God. It's got to be all God. I'm talking about a wise man. A wise man will stay saved. Because he'll dig down deep. Yes, sir. 100 in verse number 2. Psalm 100 and verse number two. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Amen. Serve the Lord with gladness. God want me to be glad. I know this time of year, a lot of us can feel sorrow over our loved ones, parents, and all just like mine. It's not with me no more. But they left me in. They had to go on. But God still wants us to serve him with. 
you can look around and see somebody still with theirs, but you got to remember there was a time somebody looked around and see yours with yours, and they didn't have theirs. But if you serve the Lord with gladness, you're going to be glad. You're going to be glad because you was a good seed. You the one that could count on holding the family up. Thank God for you because you took a stand. And that stand is still standing. Oh, come on, somebody. You, they, they didn't leave a street person. But they left one going home. Going with the Lord. You got so much to be thankful for. And serve the Lord with gladness. I'm not saying. I'm glad it's Wednesday night. We can come together. I miss you. I've been wanting to see you. I was looking for you to beat me here. Did you know how you served before you got saved? Weren't you looking for certain folks? At the serving place. Hold that right down. Let me take you to Romans chapter. 6 and verse 18, Romans 6, 18. Being then made free from sin. Oh, go and use the sin, use a mess. <laughs> oh, come on, somebody. <laughs> you serving and care who sees you. And it wasn't nothing right about it. But you show sure serving. You ought to be a good servant for the Lord. God will turn that thing around. What the devil meant for evil. God can turn it for his good. God can turn that thing around. But notice. Being then made free from sin. Being then made free from sin. Ye became the servant. Ye became. But you had to be free from some. Free, free from sin. Yes, 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 uh-huh. Ye became the servants. Ye became the servants. Of righteousness. Of righteousness. Now you serve God. Your being on time is important. What you do in here is important. Amen. Because you became the servants of God. You come to serve. You come to clap your hand. I don't have to look around and read what, what's wrong with me clapping over there. No. We're clapping over here too. Our hands up over here. That's what we come for. We come to glorify. We come to praise him. Oh God, I thank you. But notice. Being then made free from sin. Yes. Ye became the servants of righteousness. You became the servants of righteousness. I speak after. Oh, the hold it right there. Jump down to 20. For when ye were the servants of sin. Now, when you were, you were that now. Amen. Don't sit around and look at what they doing. You know what to do when you come in here. You know to start clapping your hands and saying, thank you, Jesus. You know that's what we come in here for. We come in here to give them off the top. You don't take your nodding and sleeping and stretching. We come in to praise you. Praise him while you woke. Don't start yawning and clapping. Oh my God. Give him the best. Yes, yes. Uh huh. For when ye were the servants of sin, yeah. ye were free from righteousness. See, you had nothing to do with righteous when you were bound to sin. Sin got everything it could. I knew you would have got some more if the Father had not drawn you. Because you showed and volunteer. Jesus said, no man can come to me except the Father that sent me drawing. That was the Father drawing you while you were changing that radio station. And you heard somebody preaching and you back, back up to it. You didn't know what they were saying, but you listened. That was the Father drawing you. He was drawing you when you go to the club and you didn't want to dance. You would dance, but you wouldn't finish the record. He was dealing with you. Didn't nobody else understand me. Just, this is crazy. This don't seem right. Go to Father's dealing with you. 
It didn't feel right to mistreat nobody because Father was dealing with you. It didn't feel right to see people's in a need and you wouldn't help them. God was dealing with you. That was his way of getting you to him. That's why you got a testimony now. When your testimony, you go back, you say, oh, that's why I treat them people right. And even I wasn't saved, but he was drawing you. He was pulling you out. Don't, don't in a way of the draw water. Don't you have to fill the bucket before you get it to the top. But you're drawing something right. You're drawing something to quench your thirst. God said, I'm drawing me some people that'll praise me. I'm drawing me somebody that'll give me glory. They don't know what I'm doing, but they're going to know after a while. They're going to know why I draw them because I needed some praise. I needed some glory. And I looked out there and I see them. I see me some glory. I see me some praise. Look at the winds tonight in church. All this used to be far from you. Your cars wouldn't used to go in the church. Church. Oh, but look at it now. You take that car in the way else but church, it won't run right. Hey, Amen. You don't even feel right with it being there. Hallelujah. But notice. What fruit had ye then in those things whereof you are now ashamed? Now you're ashamed. You're ashamed of those things. You, it's for a testimony, but not for you to be entangled with it. It's for you to tell somebody what God brought you from, but not for you to still be in manga with it. That ain't your life. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. The world was made by him, but he didn't have no connection with that doing. So this way, no connection. You in it, but you not in it. You, you in it, but it don't have no parts with you. Come on, somebody. You can be saved and not have no part with peoples in the world. If you're going to be a life for them to come to, you can't partake with them. You can't be their buddies and friends. I don't care if it's mama. You got to be standards. Come on, somebody. See, you never get in debt with nobody until you got to do what they said because they loan you money. That's why it ain't good to borrow nothing from them just. Because they'll start owning it. They'll use that to use you. And they'll tell you if you don't do this, don't ask me for no more because you know you're going to be broke. They'll speak them things on you. I can't get no help in here. A non-believer will speak poverty on you. They'll speak that you got to borrow something from them instead of you turning it around. You say, no, no, what I used to borrow is going to be mine. Amen. Hallelujah. I got about two amens then. Well, the Bible said we can call those things that be not. You watch a lot of times around people that don't serve God and know God or try to call things on you to take over you. Amen. They always want to see they sell way out of something before they get entangled with you with it. If I get your car out of the shop, you're going to let me hold it. If I loan you this money, you're going to do this, you're going to do that for me. See how they collect and you got to pay them back. Amen. But notice what he says. Read that here called verse. Verse 21. What fruit had you then in those things? What fruit have you then in those things? Whereof ye are now ashamed. You're ashamed. You ain't got no fruit in that. The Bible said death and life is in the power of the tongue. And they that love it shall eat the fruit there. Huh? That ain't your fruit no more. You don't enjoy that no more. Oh, that don't turn you on no more. That ain't what you want to laugh about. That ain't what you want to talk about. You want to talk about the goodness of God. Serve the Lord with gladness. You want to talk to somebody. Amen, God. You want to draw from them and they draw from you. And both of you got a dance going on and they ain't got to dance with one another. But it's something in your mouth when you start talking to make you dance. It's something in your heart that when you start talking about how good God is, you start moving. You start getting lighter. You ever been feeling bad and got somebody getting around, somebody know how to praise and talk about the goodness of God and you start feeling better? You didn't feel like all that when you first got there. But when they start talking about it, 
and then they give you space for your talk. See, that's where I like to talk. Talk and give space. Give space. Let me say something. Now, cut off. Hold it right there. Let me, let me, let me, let me put a scripture in there. Come on, somebody tell God thank you. I ran into a guy yesterday. I went in the bathroom, washed my hand, and he came in. I said, oh, today your day. He said, what's that? I said, give me a scripture. But all the time, I give him one, right? He said, oh, I got it. I said, you got it? I said, come on with it. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. I ain't got the one, is it? He spoke it and he answered it. He said, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. My wanting is over with. I said, go ahead, brother. I know you had it. Come on, somebody. Hit the Lord. <laughs> Glory to God. That was good and very good. Unexpected. He didn't know he was going to see me. I didn't know I was going to see him. But I said, boy, this is a good time. I see scripture on you today. When I've been caring for about the last three or four years, every time you see me, I got one for him. So I just figured I would see what he got. It's like sometimes I test you to see what you got. I've been around you long enough. You ought to have something. If your hand go up towards your head, I know you ain't been hearing that. Serve the Lord with gladness. You're going to have a word somewhere. All these bills you say he done paid. Gas he done put in your car and gas went up. And he still kept you riding. You ought to have something to say. Come on, somebody. Glory to God. But notice. What fruit had you then in those things whereof you are now ashamed? Uh -huh. For the end of those things is death. But now, being made free from sin. But now being made free. You free to praise God. Can no devil hold you down. The weapon of our warfare are not coming, but mighty through God to the pulling down. When the enemy come in like a flood, you can pull that down. You don't have to accept them thoughts. You don't have to accept that negative. You don't have to accept what the doctor said to you ain't right. You don't have to accept dying. You should live and not die and declare the works of the Lord. That's why you got word in you. When the devil feeds you something negative, you talk positive. I can't get no help in here. It's got to come out of your mouth because the Bible says, well, I know the verse. Did you say it? Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit there. What do you love? Don't you love life? Speak life. It could be your last breath, but if you speak life, you'll get more bread. It could be your last two or three dollars, but if you speak money, you'll get some more money. I can, I can get, if I can get you to start talking, you're going to start to get Don't be afraid to say it. For with men, it is impossible. But with God, all things, all things, all things. Come on, somebody. Don't put no limitation on him. He can do more than you can speak or say. God go beyond what you say. Honey, if he stopped at where you stayed, he'd be in a mess. But let me tell you something out of it. He goes above. Hallelujah. He said the word that go forth out of my mouth shall not return unto me. Honey, that's dancing right there. I could shout all night right there. Oh! My, 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 my. I could have a church right there. And no weapon. No weapon. I don't care how it's made, what it look like, what it feel like. No, 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 no weapon. What shall we say then to those things? If God be for me, and God is for me because he holding me up right now with the right hand of his righteousness. Huh? Come on, somebody. You just need to know how to get hooked up with the hookup. Hallelujah. I feel anointing in here. You want things to change? Change your talk. Oh, 
Hallelujah. But notice. Verse 22. But now, being made free from sin. But now, being made free. Free. Hold that right there. Give me, give me. Give me, give me John. John 8, 32 and 36. John 8, 32. And ye shall know the truth. Oh. Oh. You ain't sitting here without the truth. Amen. Much as you come to church. Amen. That's just like you go to work. You ain't broke. Amen. You just ain't cash your check. I don't know why you got it in your front pocket and you need something in your mouth. Amen. Jesus, <laughs> you shall know the truth. The truth. And the truth. And the truth. Shall make you free. The truth is why your eyes on right now is the truth. Why you get more than you used to get because the truth. You kept coming when you didn't know what to do until you learned what to do. Amen. See, the, the truth was there all the time, but you just had to be made because you were stubborn in your ways. Amen. See, you call yourself going to make the true work in wrongness. You, you got to remember, you come six years like that. But when you found out you wasn't going to change nothing, and wasn't going to change, nothing wasn't going to change because the way you had it. That's why you got six years in the hole. Six years, you ain't collecting nothing from him. But I believe he said everything the locusts, by you being faithful, <laughs> everything the locusts in the kingdom want to understand. <laughs> he said he'll give it back to you. <laughs> I'm so glad God ain't like man. <laughs> he said, I, I know you missed it, but I'm going to give it back to you. Because <laughs> you've been faithful over a few things. <laughs> and I'll make you rule over many. <laughs> you've been so faithful. <laughs> A faithful man shall abound with blessings. God gonna make sure you abound with them. Oh Lord. Hallelujah. But notice. And ye shall know the truth. You shall know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. The truth is what make you free. That's why cancer can't attack you. That's why high blood pressure. You know, it's so much done happened to all of us and we ain't been to a doctor yet. Because when it was happening, you were asleep. When you woke up, it was gone. You ain't never known that by what he said. You had no way. Because if you wasn't asleep, it wasn't bothering you. When you go to sleep and wake up, it's gone. Come on, somebody. Come on, you know you died in your sleep. How many times? <laughs> Honey, God, truly God is good to Israel. Oh, Lord. See, that's why a lot of things, what the doctor tried to tell you, you can't go share it with nobody else. Because they hear about that die with something you done died and been raised in. I feel like running in here. Oh, Lord Jesus. They think it's just happening. This has been happening all the time. But I'm still holding on because he sits on the throne. He ain't come down. He's still sitting there saying, my child, what do you want? He ain't give up on you. He promised you to never leave you nor forsake you. I don't care what happened, he's still there. He ain't scared of what happened to you because he know you're going to dance in a minute. Can't God depend upon you? Can't he depend upon you for a praise? Come on, somebody. When everybody else is looking down and turning down, you still shout. God got a praise in you and you got to get it out. Hallelujah. You ain't like everybody else. That's why you can't be competing with them. That's why you can't stand side them. You ain't
they like who they hear. You are special people. God has made you. That's why you act the way you do. You are so different. Things happening you different. See, they want to put you side of a statue. Like if you fit this, you're anointing. But they don't know God take the foolish of man. The foolish of preaching. The confined of what? God said, I'll take something foolish. I'm coming through you. See, y'all looking around for something makes sense. You looking for a degree. You looking for this and that. And God done led Moses through the ocean. And y'all don't even know how he got through that. Because you thought God had to use somebody like that. He said, give me somebody with a stick in the hand. He said, give me somebody with a stick I can, so I can use something. What is you got in your you may not have no money, but you ought to have a praise. I may not know how to do this and that, but I got a praise. Is you got a clap in your hand. God to take that clap and make water stand up. God to take that clap and bring you through dry ground. God don't need nothing about you. If you fumble the ball, God don't need nothing about you. It's still going to be God. Whew. Oh my God. I'm coming through here. Moses, what you what you got in your hand? Where you pick it up at? How you get it? I just want to keep busy. If you can keep busy with it, I keep busy with it. Stretch it. <laughs> Stretch it. Now throw it down. Let's do something with it. Since you, since you got it, since you got hands, let's do something. You ain't got no money, but I got some hands. I got bad children, but I got some hands. I don't know how I'm gonna pay my bills, but I got some hands. Sometime I'm about to lose my mind, but I got some hands. I can't get no help in here. Hallelujah. Well, I don't know what to do, but I got some hands. My, 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 my. I give him a praise with what I got. God will turn it around. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. How do they do right now? They pay tax. Peter, go down there and get take that money out that fish mouth and pay for me and you. Let the fish go. We ain't frying fish today. Taking money today. You ain't got to go to Vistar. Go somewhere Vistar don't go. You know why you got so much right now? Because when you travel, everybody else don't go. You know why you ain't get robbed? Because when you go, everybody else don't go. Lord Jesus. You know why your bills pay? Because when you go, everybody else don't go. But notice. And ye shall know the truth. Yes. And the truth shall make you free. The truth going to make you. The truth will make you. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He make me to lie. The truth will make you. He'll make you lie down. That's why you blessed. Because instead of you being in a storm, you laying down. That's why this world go through things you don't go through. Because you laying down. God got you. The Duncan that he gonna ride in on is tired. 
And when he get ready for him to be loose, he send the church at him. He don't send sinners. He tell, he tell his disciples, go loose the coat with your tie. And he been tired all his life. You wonder why you don't know about drugs? Because you been tired. You know why you don't know about them street folks out there? Because you been tired. Honey, you ought to thank God for being tired. You ought to thank God for us a whole lot of things that you ain't never experienced. Don't you feel bad because you ain't been down there. Don't you feel bad because you ain't been over there. Honey, you got something to shout about. You got so much to be thankful for. I was tired. Couldn't go everywhere everybody else go. They might have talked about me, but I'm sure whole. I still got all of me. I'm qualified. Yes, sir. I'm qualified to get married. I can pass every doctor inspector right now. Because I've been tired. I'm going to leave that right there. Every doctor appointment you want me to go, I go. Because I've been tired. I've been kept by the power of God. When you see me tied up, I was being kept. When you didn't see me at the club as a younger age because I was tired. When you didn't see me with them older men and older women, I was tired to be kept through my child days. Oh, Lord God, I thank you. Hallelujah. We read on. I got to go. Verse 36. If the Son, therefore, if the Son, therefore, shall make you free, if the Son, therefore, shall make you free, you shall be free. You shall indeed. be free indeed. You free. When He makes you free, you are free to serve Him. Now, that's old flesh I'm told you not to clap. Flesh told you to be quiet. You ain't quiet. That flesh wants you to act another way. But the flesh don't never give you nothing to pay no bill. But notice. If the son therefore yes. shall make you free. Shall make you free. Ye shall be ye free. shall be free. Indeed. Indeed. Now let's go back. I got to run Romans 7. Romans 6. 6.22. Uh-huh. But now being made free from sin. Yes. And become servants to God. And become servants of God. Ye have your fruit unto holiness and the end everlasting life. Look at that. It's to live right. Being talked about, put down, but at the end, everlasting life. Ain't you working some things out? Be ye holy, for I am holy. Work out your own soul salvation with fear and trembling. Ain't you working it? You better keep working it. You can tell you're working it because the devil made it. I'm glad you live right. I'm glad you want to do what's right. I'm glad you're holding on. Ain't nobody mad with you but the devil. The devil can't stand you because you're holding on. Well, let me tell you something to encourage you. <laughs> you done held on too long to give up now. You ain't used to going nowhere on Saturday night but study your Sunday school book and come to church. So if the street's still out there, you ain't been out there with them. But notice, holy right there, we was, go back to Psalms, Psalms 122 and verse 1 and 2. I got to move now. I was glad when they said unto me. Somebody ought to be glad. Glad to start with you. 
I was glad, and I'm gonna show you I'm glad. Did you not know it's up to you what you show people when they speak to you? Amen. You can smile at some and frown at others. You don't have to do that. You ought to be glad for everybody. Amen. Cause you don't know who your healing come through, come through it when you glad. Don't have no respect to a person. A ask God to give you love for everybody. God help me cause I have a problem with some people. It just ain't that but the flesh. As I only live in the flesh, flesh look at some folks and don't want to like them. And they treat you heat better than them you like. I can't get no help. You look better with them than you do with them. Because they show you up. They, they help smile for you. You know you ain't that good at laughing, but these what you don't want to be bothered with. They got a smile for themselves and you. I ain't going to get no amen in there now. Come on, somebody. That's why you can't have no respect of a person. And these right here do something for you, them won't do. Reading you don't know it because you haven't got there yet. Wait till you get that. You'll see who will do it. But notice. I was glad. But he said, ah, I was glad. You got to be glad. I'm glad you kept out and they called me. I'm glad you asked me how was I doing. Because I can't share how I'm doing with everybody. No, but I'm glad you asked me. So I'm doing good. And keep on asking me. Because every time you ask me, and I tell you, I hear it too. Amen. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. You got to learn how to be glad. You got to learn to be glad over some things you don't have. Amen. And I believe you will be glad if you stop looking at what somebody else got. Amen. You was all right. Do you see what you think they got. How you know they got? Cause you hold something don't mean you got it. I've seen people lose big fish. They got them on the reel. But they mess around and let that fish hit that line some kind of way. The fish gone. Oh Lord. <laughs> you better learn how to hold on to what you got. Sometime holding on you can't look at what somebody else in the miss. Don't look at what they got. <laughs> hold on to what you got. Because <laughs> whatever you're holding on to, <laughs> then they make things better. <laughs> Your betterness <laughs> is coming through right here. <laughs> I heard him tell his disciples, <laughs> lunch out <laughs> into the deep. <laughs> they must have been somewhere shattered. <laughs> if I'm in shatter, <laughs> I'm finna hit the deep. <laughs> Tell somebody and tell them, say, if I'm broke, I'm finna get rich. Because I'm finna leave for who I am. And I'm finna go further. You can't count me out when you tell me to throw out. Oh, Lord. Ain't the Lord good? I got to move, y'all. Every now and then, you got to lunch out. Don't feel like dancing. But I got the lunch out. Don't feel like clapping. But I got the lunch out. Don't even feel like being bothered with you. But I got the lunch out. I don't feel like looking in your face. Talking about you, my brother. I don't want to feel that tonight. I know you're my brother and sister. But if I'm on lunch out, I got to do it again. Don't get weary in well doing. You shall reap. If you think not, stop getting weary. Stop quitting. Stop giving up. Lunch out a little further. Do it one more time. It wasn't they wasn't catching nothing. They was catching. But this won't help you to continue to stay here and throw right there. Because you'll start throwing back where you come from. We got to get you to have you to lunch out. Something that you won't get out of. 
if God don't bring you out. See, that's why a lot of times you and a person along about the same age you is, if they ain't grown, ain't got nothing in common. And shopping that. And you can be where the person can't shop and you'll stay dull. We must be doing something right. See, we stay together. You ain't doing nothing right. We're saying, duh. You ain't got nothing to support me and I ain't got nothing to support you. Just two old duh people. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. God wants you to launch out. Yeah, you got, you, you got proof. You get, there that is right now. You got proof you're catching. But then after a while, you're going to start catching you. And somebody else going to catch you. You got to be so full of heart that when they look for you, they can't find you. If it ain't the Lord, they can't find you. You ain't got to always say, Lord, hide me. Because I don't want you here today. I want you to let your light so shine before me and that they may see your good work and glorify the Father which is in heaven. Because I don't want you hiding behind me. Come on out from there. And launch out into the deep. And let your nets down for what you didn't catch. You finna catch them. You need to tell yourself, it's time for me to make my catch. Your catch will hold you. You need to catch something to encourage you. If you don't catch, you start being disappointed. Envy, jealous, and strife. Or come in, but the more you catch, the more you can be support to a catch. And the more you'll call folks that don't catch. I can't get no help in here. Every now and then, you need to see somebody ain't catching like you. And blow the horn, bum bum. And beckon for them. I see beckon. Tell them to come on and come on right now. I need you to come. And what you do, do it quick. Come on and get these fish so we don't drown. We're going to mess around here and lose our lives. You don't come get them. We got so much now that's going to kill us. If you don't come get some of it. I was danger, but I'm delivered now. I wouldn't give you nothing, but I'm free now. I can give you some. When God get in your catch, don't you get free. You know you ain't always like to give nobody. You always like to receive. Uh, you didn't understand giving until you launched out. You always understand collecting, but not giving nothing. And if you would give something, you turn your back and pick out something too little. And you know you shouldn't be giving nobody that. <laughs> but that's where it is when you're stingy. But when God get in your giving, you get them big ones. You say, you gonna give me that big one? Yeah, cause this boat gonna sink. Take it. <laughs> we got to take the weight off this boat. Them little ones that, uh, uh, that leave that alone, throw it back in the water and take these big ones. I'm sorry, I don't wanna take your big ones. Yeah, if you don't, I'm gonna try. Take the biggest thing we got, make this boat set back up on the water. It won't come back if we don't get rid of this. Lay aside every weight and every sin. That's so easy to set. See, I done laid aside stinginess. Now I can freely give. I can smile giving. I used to then smile. I would frown. Be about to cry. And say, you ain't right for taking my big stuff. I wouldn't do you like that. But now, wait a minute. It's done turn around. Take it. You done stop giving somebody a dollar. You done raise the gift. I know you're going to look at me funny, but I done raised it to 50. You're going to say, wait a minute, you give him 50? Yes, sir, because the boat going to sink. We don't get that 50 out of here, and that boat going to sink. And then give me that 100 over there. Give me that 1,000. Ah, uh, don't give him that. We're going to die if you don't. The blessings of the Lord are 
make you rich. Yes, sir, and it'll cause you to help somebody else. Ain't the Lord good? But notice, read daughter. I was glad when they said unto me. Notice, I was glad when they said, they said it unto me. And I'm glad they said it because I need that to be said to me so I can stir my gladness. And when last time you been glad? I'm mean, glad because you're in church. Glad because I'm in the house. Glad because I'm around believers. Don't you know it's something rubbing off you, off you when you's a believer on me? Don't you know it's something coming off me on you? Because you's a believer. It's something you was going through. You ain't going through that now. Because where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. When you walked in here, liberty in the house. All you had to do was show up. Lord Jesus, just show up. <laughs> And God done took over. Because God is a spirit. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. And you worship God. Now you free. But notice. I was glad when they said unto me. When they said unto me. Let us go. Let us go. Into the house of the Lord. We got to get in there. It's something God do for me when I get in the house. It, 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 because the things that I see are temporal. But the things that I see not is eternal. He did something for me in the spirit. I didn't feel it like you feel this time. But it happened to me because I was obedient. If you be willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. And because I was obedient... I'm eating. I didn't see it, but I got it. I didn't see it, but God knew I needed it. Hallelujah. See, the fight was between coming here and staying at home. But when I, 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 I fought to come, and when I got here, I got the results for coming. Because God did his part. Lord Jesus, don't you? The Bible said, faith without works is dead. Hallelujah. You got faith in what you works. You can have faith and then want to stay home. It don't work like that. I, I didn't feel like going. Well, you lost, Joe. You believe. I, I, all things are possible for him that, that believe faith without works. Is that? You wouldn't put no works with it. You want faith to stay home and sit on your sofa. You want faith to stay home and sit back in your recline and match the button. Mm, mm. Well, see, I'm a believer. I'm a believer. Mm. <laughs> no, no work. Everybody want it like that. Uh, but it don't work like that. It, it's it's going to put you in another mood to get this. Oh, Jesus. But notice. Our feet. Shall stand within thy gate. That's reason I'm oh, glad. Jerusalem. That's reason I'm glad they said unto me. Because our feet's going to stand. A thousand shall fall at that side. Ten thousand at the right hand, but it shall not come near. Our feet's going to stand. When everything else is going down, we still going to be standing. Paul says it like this when you did all the do but stand. Stand. Keep on standing. Because ain't nothing going to be lost but the shit. I know it look rough. But I'm going to tell you who's going to master this. If the angel stood by me this night. And that was God. Saying, Paul, it's going to be all right. <laughs> Just because it look rough. <laughs> don't mean I ain't got it. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> And I'm going to turn it. <laughs> and it ain't going to bother you. <laughs> ain't you glad? It's some things happening right now. <laughs> but it ain't bothering you. <laughs> you got to praise over that. <laughs> you got to thank you, Jesus. <laughs> God, you good to me. <laughs> you brought me <laughs> from a mighty long ways. <laughs> you brought me <laughs> for what I couldn't see myself. <laughs> I was shocked. <laughs> And you brought me. You brought me on a clap. Just clap my hands. 
and you brought me. <laughs> Somebody ought to give a clap right now. <laughs> you gonna bring you through something? <laughs> something you never thought <laughs> that a clap would bring you through? <laughs> Just because you're obedient <laughs> and clap your hands. <laughs> Somebody shout glory! Verse, verse 2 and I got to run. Our feet. Our, no, our. Because I was glad when they said unto me, let us go. I didn't feel like going. It was fight. The devil said, you're going to be late once you just stay here. No, I know it's a blessing. And he done told He didn't even gave me a reason for staying. Do my I'm late. Might as well stay here. No, I'm going. But I ain't finna make it no habit being late. Uh -uh. I'm getting out of here. Oh, God gonna do something for me. I'm still moving. I ain't give up. But I learned something for dragging. Don't keep dragging. Mm -hmm. But notice. Our feet. Our feet. Shall stand within thy gate. Shall stand and we still gonna be standing. When things is broke down. Messed up, tore up from the floor. We're still going to be standing. God going to hold you up with the right hand of his right. Hallelujah. God going to reward you. Just because things look messed up. You got to recognize who made all things. And all things were made by him. And without him was not anything made that was made. Whatever bothering you. God made it. And he know how to tell it. Behave. Leave my children alone. I made it. I can stop you. Ain't you glad? God can stop some stuff. If you don't believe it, what that old name they call COVID-19. Then he tell it to leave you alone. Oh, COVID jump you. But God said, leave him alone. Ain't God good? He brought you when others was dying. Then he bring you out. Then he help you. Then he heal you. In the same room that dad had a mask on, you was in there too. But then you come out better because he got his hands on it. I heard him say, this year ain't nothing going to happen to you. Give him a praise right there. Hallelujah. Whether you got a flu shot or not, God said you don't have a shot of blood. The blood still works. The blood is still heals. It still is set the captive free. Somebody shout glory. Give me Psalms 98. Psalm 98. And verse, verse 4. Make a joyful noise. What kind of noise? Joyful. Joyful. Serve the Lord with gladness. Make a joyful noise. Not a sad noise. Not a noise tying your bills up in it. All kind of foolishness that you run across peoples and in the flesh all the time. Leave that alone. Don't let your conversation always be about what somebody don't like you. You, you, you just don't know. They bishop, they two-faced. That's all right. They got six-faced. <laughs> who, who told you to come? I see why. I see why they have you tied up all the time. You go around counting their faces. Lord Jesus, you count what they do. You got a list book and write down everything they do. Ain't got no scripture now. But got to wrote down what they do. They did this Monday at 2 o'clock. You better get rid of that book. Oh, I can't get no help in here, Jesus. Hallelujah. That, that's all right what they do. They just do what they do. 
but don't let them be, be, uh, beat you doing what you do. Don't let what they do stop you doing what you do. Don't lie to get tied up. God blessing you. You got the favor of God on your life. And they know it too. They know you got favor. They know God is on your side. That's why they stand there thinking they're going to mess you up. So shall you find favor. This favor was on your life before you met them. Every now and then you got to tell yourself, you can't be jealous of me. I had this before I know you. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. This is the favor of God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. This is just the way God blesses me. I'm attached to it. Mm. This is a relationship that I have with him. What do you have with him? You ought to be attached to him. Yes, sir. Ain't the Lord good? When I looked on my right hand, I saw no man. When I looked on my left, I saw no man. But when I lift the eyes unto the hills from which come in my help, I saw my God. He was there looking at me. Ain't the Lord good? You ain't never been on a predicament. And God didn't bring you out. I ain't gonna say it didn't scare you at first. At first, you show sure jump. But then you come back now. Didn't you straighten up? Yeah. It bothered Mary. And she was carrying the Savior. She said, Lord, how can this be? She jumped, seeing I know not a man. And you can't sit in here and act like you didn't jump. You jumped, but you got back. But notice. Make a joyful noise. Make. Make. You got to make this noise. That's why we know you're in the kitchen cooking. Because there's some noise. I just heard the oven though. I just heard the mixer. I hear something in there. See, you ain't in there by yourself cooking. Cooking is cooking. And when you start cooking, you got the barber thing. Oh, you gonna make a noise to the Lord. You got the barber some stuff. Come on, somebody. And sometimes it gets it from you to in the spirit. You got to cross over to get in the spirit. You got to leave this side and come on over here. Every now and then, God said, Lord, forgive me for thinking about them people. The way I did, because they're your peoples. All souls is mine. If they do right, they his. If they don't do right, they ain't none of your own. Sometimes we need to repent, Lord, forgive me for bothering your peoples, for putting my mouth on them. I'm sorry, because I ain't made a one. Ain't none of mine. I got to check myself. I got to go way back and get it all out of me so I can get my blessing. Because sometimes, don't we think we own people? Don't we think of what we said about them, we right? No, you're wrong. You're wrong, wrong. Well, they ain't none of yours. That's the way they act, but God used them. See, you couldn't use Peter with a knife. But God said, bring me the knife, man. Bring me one. Lord, he got a knife, he said, that's why I want him. He real with his. You got one too, but you got it hid. See, see, he said, I, I like to deal with folk like Peter. He keep his eye. You 
got one too, but you got it hid. So we got to search you to find you. You got to search Peter. Peter wide open. Peter just let what he said come out of his mouth everywhere. But you sneak it with yours. I know where you do yours at. You do yours behind that. And you got more in you than Peter got in him. Because you don't know who done told on you with yours. Oh, Jesus. But notice. Make a joyful noise. Make. Make it. You got to make it. I was in church. What did you do? Make. I need too much not to make. I need too much to be ashamed of the gospel. Paul says it like this, for I'm not ashamed of the gospel. It is the power of God unto salvation to every, I'm a believer. And I just do what believers do. Because I'm a believer. Glory to God. But notice. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Yes. All the earth. All the earth. Make a loud noise and rejoice and sing praise. Make it loud. Now God told me to make a loud. Why are you frowning at me? <laughs> you gave me such a look. Why are you? Why you made that turn and look at me? You ain't got no grandchildren. This time next year you're going to have some. And you won't be looking at me like. Because them same children who got me praising and being loud. They're going to catch up with you. Oh, you said in church, cute. I give you another year. I give you another year you're going to be dancing everywhere. Then you're going to be looking around them tell you better get up. You better come on and get a praise in. Them children, by this time they said, them children are going to be wearing you out. Oh, no, I didn't know you know that. We used to be cute like you. We was too cute to clap. We thought that would mess up our religion. We just being quiet. But honey, what was in that house made me a different in the church. Jesus. Hallelujah. But notice. Make a loud noise. Make a loud. A loud. Yes, sir, because I'm going through something. And only God can bring me out of this. And when I make a loud noise, I want him to hear me. Because the Bible said he's a very present help in the time of trouble. And I'm in trouble. But I got to make a loud noise unto him for him to know that I'm in trouble. If you want the gospel, you ought to get loud. Because the gospel ain't shame of you. But don't you be shame of the gospel. Ain't the Lord good? I'm in trouble. And he gonna bring me out. Because he said, in the day of trouble, call unto me and I will deliver you. <laughs> that I may be glorified. <laughs> he said he would deliver me. <laughs> in the day of my trouble. <laughs> I don't know what your trouble is. <laughs> It don't have nothing to do with man. <laughs> well, I have trouble and I. <laughs> it may not be the same with you. <laughs> but if I was you, I would learn <laughs> what state I'm in. <laughs> to be content. <laughs> and the way I be content, <laughs> I give him praise. <laughs> Ain't the Lord good? <laughs> Paul says, I am <laughs> that I am <laughs> by the grace of God. <laughs> And God grace me to give him praise in the midst of a storm. What shall I render unto the Lord for all his benefits towards me? I would take the cup of salvation and call upon the name. You better learn 
and call them instead of looking at folks' house. You better learn to call him instead of looking at their dress code. Talk about how cute you is. Ain't nothing cute when I got bills and can't pay them. Ain't nothing cute when I got children and can't buy them. Ain't nothing cute when my money done run low. You better praise him. Call the verse, daughter. Verse 4b. Make a loud noise and rejoice and sing praise. And sing. Make a what kind of noise? Loud noise. Now that's what the Bible says. They ain't got nothing to do with nobody else. Because I'm going to make a loud noise. You just got to change your seat. You, you go on over there and sit where they don't do nothing. Cause we gonna keep ours hot. Ain't nobody gonna sit on this pew and be broke. Everybody sat here and gonna be free. We may not tell you to clap your hands, but you gonna learn from us about clapping our hands. We go get us a car when we get ready. Bills is paid. Cause on this road we shop. On this road we clap. On this road we make a joyful note. On this road you don't you don't date Bobo. You don't date Helen for three years and don't marry. <laughs> Hallelujah. But, but, but. Call the first daughter. Verse five. Sing unto the Lord. Sing. You know you can sing. Stop hiding your song. You ain't hiding from us. It's things right now you would have if you would use what God give you. That's God talent. That ain't yours. I can sing, but I ain't gonna let nobody know because I don't want to get in the choir. You ought to be in that. You need to be just as tied up as all you can be tied in church. Yeah, but you just was just talking about that Duncan was tied. You need to be tied too. See, you be tied, you can sing because don't nobody else get about your song but the Lord. You ain't finna win no trophies. Ain't nobody else finna give you nothing for saying it. <laughs> Jesus. You better use what you got. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But you got to know who to sing to. You can tell that because nobody else wants you in the choir but us. We want you so bad we about to push you in there right now. Get in the choir. We don't turn nobody down. They never turn nobody down. They turn us down for not wanting to get in it. Then get in and learn how to sing and get blessed. Then get out. You better get back in it. Them blessings ain't gonna pick up till you get in. The same way you come sing two songs and 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 it's good for you the rest of your life. No, you got to keep singing. You got to sing every time you look around. I sure hope the choir sang tonight. I sure hope the choir sang tonight. And we might just start letting the choir do a song. Oh, Lord Jesus. We might just let the choir do a song for in the devotion. Yeah, we can let you do a song. We sing into the Lord.
but notice what he says. Sing unto the Lord. Sing. Sing unto the Lord. You know, you got to know who you're singing to. Put everything you got in it. Put it in it. Sing hard. And stop looking at somebody where they ain't open their mouth. Open your mouth. He says in Psalms 81 and 10, open your mouth wide. And he'll feel it. And you know you need to be filled. You ain't, so much you into ain't nothing going to get you out, but open your mouth wide. You know you can't be cute. I'm singing, but I don't know if I'm going to be looking like that saying. It ought to pay them bills you're going to do. And you know you got more bills than you got money. And God will pay them, but you got to open your mouth. Why? And you looking at getting in more debt, and you just got a little peep on your mouth, you better open. Sing. I'm singing unto the Lord. I know it ain't going to line up with you because you don't understand me. I made a vow to the Lord. And I won't take it back. I told him, if you can use me, Lord, I'm available. And it ain't got nothing to do with how I'm looking. Oh, Lord Jesus. Sometimes your face turned that way and your lips that way and your nose that way, but you sang it. You can tell when you say, oh, you don't care how you look. You know you can't be pretty singing. You got some people want to look in the mirror and see how they look while they say, I don't like that, I need that. <laughs> you won't pay no bills with that. You ain't going to be looking like you when you sing. Amen. Amen. When you do see it on video, you can say, oh my God. But you, got a, but you got the song through. God bless you behind. Because you wasn't singing it for looks. I'm going to show you how you're going to look when you sing. Give me, give me, give me Isaiah 53. 53 and 3. He is despised and rejected of men. Wait, oh Lord, I'm about to run. I'm going to have to come out with him. I feel anointed. He was what? Despised. Despised. And rejected of men. And rejected. You trying to be accepted. What can I do to win them? I know I need a little bit more of this. And give me some spray and spray this. <laughs> oh, No. Uh-uh, Donna, that's your song. You ain't gonna get nothing out of that. When you despise and reject it, you can't pay folks that like you. Not when you serving God. Honey, when you serving God, I don't care what you wear, they ain't gonna like you. I need me about two amen. God knows I need me one of him. You trying to make somebody like you, they ain't gonna like you. He was despised and rejected of men. A man you trying to fit in. What can I get them for Christmas? We can be all right. Can't get them nothing like that. The more I give them, I'm trying to show love. Love ain't getting nobody no money. Fill their car with gas. You think that's gonna make them change? He said, I command you to love one another. Love them. But he was despised. And was rejected of men. You gonna be despised. People, they gonna dislike you for no reason. They 
they, they don't like it because you good. They so used to somebody being mean to them. And you be good to them, they fight you. God have to deal with that. That's how it's your reach. But you still, you keep con to continue doing good. You do us right. God take care of that. Lord Jesus. See, y'all got me at now. I wasn't intending to come now. See. But notice. He is despised. He is despised. And rejected of men. And rejected of men. A man of sorrow. A man of sorrow. And acquainted with grief. And acquainted with it. I like grief is just his friend. He's acquainted with it. Because he despised and rejected the means. Uh huh. And we hid, and, as it were, our faces. And we from hid him. because why? We couldn't see flesh on him to make us like it. So that, that's all we look for. That's why a lot of us, it's hard to get married right now. And ain't you can't get married. But you said Sambo ugly. He's a good provider, easy to deal with, easy to pray with, read the Bible with, all that. But see, he ain't got no flesh on him for nobody else to see. Handsome. Every time we go somewhere, he says, he all right. If you can put up with him, John, he don't know nothing though, do he? He ain't know how to pray. What else? Jesus. See, you want to be turned on from somebody else what you got. And if it ain't got bow leg, big muscles, a credible hump come in here. That, that, that's all the problem is right there. It's just I can't find nobody what they like. And since I can't find nothing they like, don't nobody like me? You could have been married three years ago. But you looking at what pleased them. And they ain't gonna find nothing to please them. That's why they ain't got nobody. They look in the wrong way. Looking unto Jesus, the author and the fit. God know what you need. What you need ain't going to please other folk. God got a pleaser in that one for you. You know you need easy going people. You can't deal with nobody stomping and hollering at you at the same time. I told you to wash the dishes. Well, ain't nobody here with me. You might have got to be clean. Girl, let's go to sleep. We're going to get up in the morning. Ain't nobody coming here tonight. If they do come, close the door. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God, I thank you. And who God got for you, a back on the floor for you. And appreciate you. You need somebody to talk calm to you. Not talking at you, but talk to you. But notice. And we hid, as it were, our faces from him. He was despised, and we esteemed him not. Amen. Give me, get, get, go back to, I got to quit. Go back to Psalms 89, 98. 98 and 5. Sing unto the Lord yes. with the harp, with the harp and the voice of a song. Yes. With trumpets and sound of cornets, make a joyful noise before the Lord, the King. Make a joy. Uh huh. Let the sea roar. Oh, let the sea roar. And the fullness thereof. Yes. The world and they that dwell therein. And they that dwell. Uh huh. Verse eight. Let the floods clap their hands. Oh, let what? The flood. Let the flood. The floods got hands. Trees got hands. Limbs on them trees. 
You didn't know that tree could open up so wide, did you? I'll see trees open up and look like it wasn't even a tree. Part and then they come back. I ain't gonna let no rock praise him over me. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God. But notice. Let the floods clap their hands. Let the floods clap their hands. Let the hills be joyful together. Let the hills be joyful. Joyful together. Before the Lord. Before who? The Lord. Before the Lord. Give me, give me, give me Isaiah right quick and I'm quitting. Isaiah 42. Isaiah 42, verse 11 and 12. Isaiah 42, verse 11 and 12, and get ready to close your Bible. Let the wilderness. Let the wilderness. And the cities thereof. Yeah. Lift up their voice. Lift up their voice. God wants to know us. Yeah. And we're trying to look around and see can we be best when if we be quiet. No, lift up your voice. <laughs> Honey, you better cry now because otherwise you're going to cry later. <laughs> but notice. The villages. That Kadar doth inhabit. Yes. Let the inhabitants of the rock sing. Let the inhabitants of the rock sing. Let them shout from the top of the mountain. Wait a minute. Now, who told you to shut up? Now, I'm not saying when you come to church, you just got to scream so loud. But let it come out of you. Let them praises come out. You can praise them at your job. And don't nobody never know all day long you said anything at your mouth. And you have been praising him ever since you've been here. You were praising him when you was on your way to work. God, I thank you. Thank you. Look at them praises coming out. That's from the top of the rocks right there. When they come out of you like that. Give me one more while you're in Isaiah. Isaiah 43, 21. Isaiah 43, 21. And close your Bible. Isaiah 43, 21. Since this you're so people. Close. When he said, this. See, you different from anybody else. That's why they want to look at you like you don't know what's going on. Look at you like you out of order. Because when you come to church, their eyes red on you. Because you this people. You, you different. Hallelujah. You operate different. Yeah, you got a relationship with God they don't have. They, they, they already know before you come. He done already answered. That's why when you have something new, it don't surprise them. They act like it. But they know God will do it for you. That's the walk that you have with God. That's how you serve him. <laughs> See, your walk is different. <laughs> your seeking him is different. <laughs> your conversation with him is different. <laughs> your living for him is different. <laughs> and when things is different about you, <laughs> it comes to you different. <laughs> you look like a lot of people, so, but you different. <laughs> he, he said, this people, <laughs> this is a people right here <laughs> that I got my hands on. <laughs> This is a people right here that I can trust. But watch what watch what he said about them. This people. He said, This people. Have I formed for myself? He said, I made them. That's why you can't get out of what you in. You know you different. And the devil's not saying, see, that's why nothing from the world you don't ever get because you too stuck on yourself. No, I'm not. I'm not like that, but I'm different. Come on, somebody, when you're different, honey, you different. You heal different. You bless different. Your close to walk with God is different. Because he said, this people, sir, I made them for myself. Glory to God. Uh -huh. This people have I formed for myself. Have I formed for myself. They shall show forth my praise. They, look at that. That's why you always thank you, Jesus. And then some people say, you do that all day? Yeah. I do it in my sleep. How do you get some sleep? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. He let me get plenty of sleep. Amen. Just praising him. Amen. Preaching him asleep. Quoting scripture. I love that. Don't leave me alone. Amen. See, if I die, them scripture going to bring me back. Yeah. When the enemy come in like a flood, but 
what says it? The word is not these. Even in thy mouth, the word of faith which we preach. Uh, honey, when you feed yourself uh, and eat what you feed yourself, uh, you coming back. Uh, told Mary and Martha, uh, this sickness, you must don't know this, my people. Uh, this sickness uh, is not unto death. Uh, it may look like he dying, uh, but it can't kill him. Uh, Come on, somebody. I'm going to show you what it'll do when you ain't this people. He's sick, but he ain't finna die. He may look like it, but he ain't finna die. Honey, you would just look like You look like the devil was going to kick it, but he couldn't kick it. He shot his best shot, but he couldn't kick it. You, you steady, bouncing back. Every time you slam your down, you go higher. 